We, of course, uh, just watched for about the last half hour or so President Biden alongside the Russian leader, uh, sorry, the Ukrainian leader, Vladimir Zelensky, after uh, Zelensky was here in town for a couple days, trying to secure, or at least trying to make his pitch for more U.S. aid, potentially to the tune of some $60 billion. Joining us now is the Republican Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas, who has said he will not support any more U.S. funds going to Ukraine at this point in time. Senator, thank you for being back here on the Hill. I'm wondering if you can explain your position and, and what you think an eventual deal might look like that, that eventually involves some form of Ukrainian aid, border funding, and aid to Israel. Well, Blake, at the end of the day, Republicans aren't budging until we secure the border. That's the question that all America is asking Joe Biden right now. Why do Republicans have to beg Joe Biden to secure the border? That's part of his job. We've said all along that if you want to tie securing the border to the Ukraine funding, so be it. He's the one that lumped these together. But now we have this once-in-a-generation opportunity to use Ukraine funding to leverage the border. And by golly, we're going to do it. I think if you so ask what are you willing to accept, senators Senator? how they feel about Ukraine, y yeah. So I think it's important, though, that what's going to accept is border security, meaningful border security. That means changing the policy. It means uh, remain in Mexico. It means cha changing the asylum policy. It means ending all this probation. It means bordering the, building the wall, more border patrol officers. Uh, that's what it means. It means meaningful border security. Uh, your colleague, Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio. Uh, on Ukraine over the weekend suggested that maybe if, if there's some sort of a way forward on Ukraine, that, would, that, would, that it would involve Ukraine giving some of its land to Russia. We just heard Vladimir Zelensky call that quote-unquote insane. Who do you side with, uh, Vance or Zelensky? The border. Look, we have to solve the border before we can solve that problem. But at the end of the day, I'm realistic here that there's been a stalemate in Ukraine for over a year. 200,000 people have died. The United States is, needs to be more focused on a peace treaty right now, whatever that looks like. But the idea of Ukraine going back to pre-Crimea, I just don't think that that's uh, realistic at all. Um, I, I have empathy towards Ukraine. Again, you're going to get 49 opinions from Republicans on what to do with Ukraine. But meanwhile, this, that discussion doesn't even start until we secure the border. Senator, I, I hear you on the border. We haven't even talked about Israel because that's, that's part of the package. And I wonder, and I know you've been at the forefront on the Senate floor saying, you know what, the House has passed a deal, $14 billion for Israel, paid for by making cuts to the IRS. But you know that's a non-starter for Democrats in the Senate. And I wonder as we go into the holiday break and with nothing happening, how anyone in this town can make the argument that they're taking aid to Israel seriously with none of it coming out the door. Well, again, you have to ask my Democrat friends. Four times we brought to the Senate floor the opportunity for Senate Democrats to support standalone funding for, you, for uh, Israel. Four times. And we're going to give them another chance this week as well. So the Democrats are what's holding that up. Americans need to realize that Democrats are no longer pro-Israel. They're pro-Palestine. They're pro-Hamas. And I don't see how you can be both. I don't see you don't how think you can that be for the Israel entire Democratic Party, Iran, do you? But the president's policies are, for, are supporting Iran. I think there's a large contingency of them, and the ones that feel otherwise are scared to death to speak out on it. I think Israel really has split the Democrat Party of today in many ways. Senator Roger Marshall, uh, it, it's a busy afternoon, as you know, a uh, half-hour press conference there. Uh, so we'll, we'll have more time with you another day, hopefully, but thank you for coming on. appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.